everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first kind of before and after video that I have filmed. Um, I'm really really excited to share this one. Um, but yeah, so I was actually just editing the video and I realised that I'd lost the clip where I was introducing it all and actually talking about it. So here I am in my workout gear because I've been editing, um, coming on here just to introduce it and sort of explain and everything like that. So obviously you guys will have guessed from the title this is the kitchen renovation video so when we moved into the house um we didn't do anything with the kitchen straight away um i was kind of focusing on other areas of the house so we got like a new floor and everything in the kitchen but other than that we didn't touch the kind of cabinets and we didn't paint or anything like that and then as we got into i suppose it was february time um, I booked for a company to come and spray paint our kitchen. So the kitchen itself was fine. Um, it is quite old, so there's a few like little dents in it and stuff like that. But um, we didn't really want to pay for a brand new kitchen because that kitchen was fine. And also we don't know how long we're going to live in this house. So sort of to splash out on a really, really expensive kind of new kitchen when the one before was totally like serviceable and fine. We just thought there was no point. But I did want to change the colour because I just didn't really like the colour it was. I just felt like it was a little bit dull and um, yeah, it just wasn't my taste personally. Um, so we spray painted it, well we didn't, but I got a company in to spray paint the kitchen, which was a much more affordable thing than changing your whole kitchen, but it literally has changed the whole look of the kitchen. Um, you'll see kind of later in the video, it just looks like a totally different kitchen. So yeah, so we did that and we also changed all the handles, all the knobs, all the hinges, which took me ages <laughs> to find hinges that would fit. Um, but yeah, so we did all of that and honestly, it just looks like a different kitchen. We painted the walls, um, I put up loads of accessories and little trinkets and some shelves. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really happy with it. I'm so thrilled, honestly. I just think it looks so, so good. Um, I stupidly didn't take very many before videos or pictures, really. Um, but the ones that I have got, I have included in this video. So hopefully that's enough for you guys to get like a bit of an idea of um, what it looked like before and everything like that. So yeah, I mean, without further ado, I think we should just get onto the video. There are way more renovation kind of before and after videos coming, hopefully. <laughs> I definitely have one for the room that I'm sat in now as well. So do subscribe to my channel if you like things like that. And also go and follow me on my home Instagram account, which is at Ruby Holly Home. Um, and if you want to follow me on my personal one as well, which is all my fashion and lifestyle, that's at Ruby Holly underscore. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I thought I would show you the kitchen as it is right now. So we've taken the doors off. Um, in these units here. Um, all right, yes, I know, get down. Um, yeah, so, as I said, taking the doors off, but everything else is kind of still intact. So, do you know what? It's an absolutely fine kitchen. Like, there's no issue with it at all. It's, it's in really good condition. Um, it's, you know, it's quite an expensive kitchen. Um, however, it's just not my taste at all. Um, as you can see, these doors here are off too. So, yeah, I'm not mad on the colour. It's okay, like, I'm... I don't know, I think it would work better with a white top, this colour, but anyway. Um, but I am going for this kind of colour, which is Railings by Farron and Bull. Um, so yeah, I'm going to change it to that. And then I'm going to be changing all of these handles, all of these to brass ones, just like simple brass cup handles, because I just think that's too fussy for me. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get people saying, you don't need to change it, it's fine, but like this is my house and <laughs> my preference, so um, but yeah. So also I've had to get like new hinges everywhere because the hinges before were like this, but like in small version. And it was just all a little bit too much uh, for me anyway. So, oh, you're sitting very nicely. Thank you, good boy. Um, yeah, so this is the before really. Obviously, because we had the new floor put in, we have to do this all the way around, which is um, like a beading. Um, you wanna go out for a walk? Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're spray painting it, so it should be done by today. So hopefully I'll be able to show you. Over here, there's this corner unit as well, which will be sprayed. So that'll look nice. Can't wait to dress that. Um, yeah, and we can finally put everything back in, which I'm excited about because currently the rest of the house is an absolute tip. Okay, so day one of um, kitchen spraying. So I actually thought they were going to get on to spray today, but obviously doing all of the sort of prep work seemed to take a lot longer than um, like they thought it would originally, which is fine. Um, so yeah, this is what they've done today. So they have um, obviously covered up everything. So like that's the oven there. Um, everything is covered, even 
down to the sink and the tap. <laughs> Just think that looks so funny. Um, floor is covered. These are obviously, ah, no, 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 not a good idea. Don't you dare. Ah, ah. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and then they will spray tomorrow, which is exciting, but yeah, I mean, literally everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this. <laughs> That's our dining table behind that. Um, so yeah, I mean, all fun and games. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have more to show you. So we are finally here with the kind of almost finished kitchen makeover tour video, whatever I'm calling this. We have a little uh, assistant here in the form of a puppy um, who wouldn't move when I wanted to film this video. So he's just staying here, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so obviously the kitchen looks very different to the last time you saw it. So I'm just going to sort of walk you through it now. As I said, it really isn't finished yet. There are loads of things. For example, if we have a look here, this all still needs painting. There's obviously still the decorator's tape there. Um, all of these switches are gonna be changed to brass ones, all the sockets, everything like that. The door's not being finished painted, but you know, I just really, really wanted to get this video up. Firstly, because obviously I know at the moment, a lot of us are kind of staying indoors and um, I just felt like I wanted to sort of provide as much YouTube content as I can. So what I thought I'd do is I'd film it and then when I have fully finished, I think I'll do sort of like a proper tour. So like a my kitchen tour, whereas this is still kind of the makeover video. So, okay, let's, um, how shall I begin? Let's just talk about the spray painting and everything first. So obviously, as you can tell, the kitchen cabinets are a totally different color. In hindsight, I probably should have wiped them before this video, but there you go. Um, and they're a totally different color. They are now a um, kind of like a dark bluey black color. Um, so the color is Railings by Farron Ball. So we had these spray painted uh, by a company local um, called Cheshire. UPVC spray painting. I'm sure you can find other ones. Just type in kitchen spray painting, etc. The reason that we decided to have it spray painted instead of just manually kind of painting it um, was for speed. It was a lot quicker to do it that way. And obviously, like because we have a puppy, I just wanted minimal time out of the kitchen kind of thing. So they only took two days. So they did, oh, it was two and a half days. So they did one day of preparing one day of the spraying and then the other day was just like cleaning up and sorting stuff out. Um, so yeah, so that is the color. I'm so happy with the color. I absolutely love it. I really struggled because we have a black top, as you can see, it's a bra uh, black quartz top. And I really struggled with what color to put with it. So before they had a light gray and I just felt like I just really didn't like it. I would much rather the top kind of blend in nicer to the cabinets. So that's what I decided to go for. So as you can see, we also changed all of the handles. So we have now got cup handles. I'll pop a picture on screen here of what the handles were like before, just so you can kind of remember. Um, so yeah, we now have cup handles, which are from a company called Yester Home. I tried so many different handles here. Um, I tried sort of like a darker, more sort of antique bronze, and they didn't look very like, they just looked weird. So I think the kind of bright brass looks really, really nice. I definitely should have cleaned these. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we also changed the hinges. So hopefully you can see that there. Um, <laughs> Rafi's right next to me in case you can hear any form of weird dog noise. Um, thanks, Raf. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay, I'm filming. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we also changed the hinges. So they used to be like very similar to the handles, like black and chrome. So um, I finally managed to find some hinges that fit and yeah, change them to a brass color too. And then the knobs are also from Yester Home. So they're the exact same color as the cup handles. Um, so yeah, they kind of were a bit of a no brainer really. Okay, I've removed Rafi because he was uh, disrupting the filming. But yeah, so as I said, the knobs are the exact same. These are the 34 millimeter ones. At first I wondered if they were a little bit too big, but I think they look quite good actually. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. So that is all of the handles and the knobs. So down here, we just have two heating vents that don't even really work. So I'd love to get rid of them, but 
I think it would be a lot more hassle than it's probably worth. Obviously, because where we had the floor done, um, the kitchen was kind of resting on the original floor and it meant that there was a gap after we had the floor done. So we've just put some beading all the way round, as you can see, um, which kind of just makes it look that a little bit more seamless and again, like a proper fitted kitchen. So yeah, so I don't think I spoke about the floor too much. So this is, um, it's reclaimed wood. So it was originally uh, railway sleepers and it's obviously been, you know, recycled and now is used for parquet flooring. So we use a local company for this. I will leave the details in the description box, but yeah, if you aren't local to me, then you may need to find someone else. But yeah, I love it. I'm so happy with it. It's kind of got like, like it's quite worn already, as you can see, you know, it's got like all these like knots in it and kind of bits and bobs. So. It wears really well. In fact, it's only gonna get better kind of with age. So it's not the kind of floor that you need to worry about, you know, if it gets scratched or anything like that. Um, so yeah, really, really happy that we decided to go for it because I think it looks so good. We've got this running throughout the house. I love all the different tones and yeah, it's a brilliant floor. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, so let's come up over to here. The sun keeps coming in and out today, so I've just popped the light on, but yeah. So this is one of my favorite corners of the room. So the shelf I got from Etsy, it's just like a wooden shelf, and then the bits and bobs I've just sort of collected and popped on there. Um, but yeah, I love it, I think it's so cool. Obviously we have two windows either side, um, and oh yeah, I just really, really like it. I think it draws your attention really nicely to this corner of the room. Um, so we have a candle here, which is from H&M, some wooden chopping boards, because I really like the way that looks, like all kind of stacked up together. Um, a radio, which is Robert's, and if you don't have a radio in the kitchen, then please get one, because I have this on all the time, like blaring out, and I absolutely love it. It honestly makes me so happy. It's like the first thing I do in the morning is just pop the radio on. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. And then I have a frame here, which is uh, from a place in Brighton. Now, all this stuff is actually hiding <laughs> the sockets. Um, so when I get the sockets changed, I may put a second shelf, I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, I do quite like how it looks, in actual fact this shelf is too high, like I probably should have had it more about here, but it's up now, so we leave it at that, um, and then this little pot here is from H&M Home, as you can see there are little bits that need sorting out, like when we put the shelves up that happened and stuff, so yeah, and then up here we have all these little glass bottles which were my mum's, um, that she brought up for me. We've got a photo frame, which is from Oliver Bonus. A couple of cookbooks. This pot my mum made for me um, in a pottery course that she did. Uh, another candle plant. Obviously that socket there is gonna be changed to a brass one. These bowls we bought when we were in Marrakesh. And then yeah, another frame. But yeah, if I just come out a bit, so you can see that corner. Just think it looks so nice. And then obviously with the units, I really like the like, kind of wood because obviously there isn't any like raw wood in the kitchen other than that. So yeah, really, really like that. Over here, we just have the hob that was here before. Nothing new there. Sorry, the lighting is going a little bit crazy because I'm kind of filming into it. Um, and then this, we have our utensils pot. It's a little bit big to be honest. It's probably not really perfect. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can find a different one, but for now this will do. And then these gold utensils here, Where's the light? Here we go. These gold utensils are from made.com and then I just have a few others in there. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then if we pan around here, now I'm trying to do this without showing too much of the garden and stuff just because it's a mess. So this is obviously our sink. Um, we're changing this tap to a brass one. We just haven't got around to doing it yet. We're going to get a hot water tap. So I need our electricians to fit a, um, plug in underneath the sink so that we can plug it in and stuff because it's it's one of those ones that run off like a big tank kind of thing um so yeah gonna get a nice bronze one well not bronze sorry brass to match obviously the handles got some aesop hand soap here we're gonna leave the sink sorry i probably should have got rid of that knife uh, gonna leave the sink ideally i would like it to be white because i just really don't like the stainless steel but we're gonna leave it because it's too much hassle um but yeah we're gonna change that tap and then as we come around here this is one of my absolute favorite parts of the kitchen. Oh, look at it, it's so nice. I'm so happy with it. Um, so, obviously, next thing we need to do is um, get a integrated dishwasher and get a new door put on it because I just think that really ruins it. Like, for example, when you look from over here and all you can see is just that big steel door, I just hate it. So, it's, it's a rubbish dishwasher anyway, so, um, yeah, we're gonna get a uh, integrated one and pop a door on it so it's gonna look the same as like all the other units. 
And then as we come around here, we have this little stool, which is from Etsy, and I love, and I need this to get to the higher bits up there. Um, and then there's this print here, which my mum got us, which is from New York. It's the subway um, a really long time ago. I don't really know how, how long ago. Oh, here we go. Is that saying 1980? 1980s, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a New York subway. And then, so these are the sockets that we are changing everything to. So they're from Speedy Electrical. They're like a really nice kind of brushed brass. Um, so obviously that will be changed. So they're just there waiting to be done. Um, I have some vases just in the corner here for when I have flowers and stuff. Toaster and kettle. Um, obviously when we get our hot water tap, we won't need the kettle anymore. So that will be gone. Um, and I think I'm going to look into getting a new toaster um, and perhaps give this one to my brother because he has, he's just moving into a new flat. Um, and I'd quite like a toaster with like brass on it just to kind of match the kitchen because I'm kind of quite like, you know, picky like that. <laughs> but it's a great toaster, but we've had it for quite a long time now. So yeah, I'm going to have a little look. Um, and then I have over here just a few more vases and bottles, little dried flower arrangement, which I really, really like. Um, and then as we go up into our shelves, now you guys will have probably seen me like worrying about how to style these and stuff on Instagram or whatever. And I'd say they probably aren't perfect but they'll do for now until I find more bits and bobs. Like I don't wanna just go out and buy loads of stuff. I want to actually like go and find things that I like and buy them, do you know what I mean? But anyway, we'll talk through it. So these bowls are from HomeSense, love them, use them all the time for cereal and everything like that. So they're really handy to have there. This uh, scales is from an antiques place near me. You can get these on Etsy and stuff if you just type in like antique scales. But I love this, I just think it's really, really cool. Um, and then I have this cookbook and um, a couple candles. Well, just the one candle, which is from H&M Home. Uh, my sister got me that, it's so nice. Um, and then this is an Ibiza salt. Um, obviously, I've got the watering can because I have a few plants and stuff around the kitchen. Um, this is a fake plant, which is from, I think it's from HomeSense. Uh, and then up here, I have, as you can see, the paint has chipped a little bit there. I'm actually gonna talk to uh, the people that did the kitchen spraying and see if they'll come back and do some touch-ups. If not, I can just do it, it's really not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so I have a thing of flour, which is from Ikea, candle from uh, H&M Home, and then the vase is from like a local garden center, the board is from H&M Home, and that is from Zara, the uh, little terracotta jug. Again, some more books there, just some recipe books and stuff, and another Ibiza salt. And then as we go up there, I have a little sculpture, which I got from New York in the Guggenheim Museum, and a bowl from Zara. Um, and then in here, as you can see, is all of our glasses, wine glasses, champagne, everything like that. And these do actually have a little light on them. Hang on, if I just... So there is a light at the top there and then a light underneath too. Um, I think the bulb needs changing on that one. But yeah, that's quite nice on an evening to have on. Um, so yeah, just close this. If I just pan a little bit further back, I'm gonna pop a picture on screen of it sort of halfway through so you can see sort of a before and after. Um, but yeah, that is what that looks like there. I'm really, really happy with it. I think just such a nice kind of corner to store things. And although it's not super practical, I'm aware a lot of those pieces are decorative. Um, I just, yeah, I love it. I'm really, really happy. Um, so yeah, that is that little corner of the room. And then as we pan round over to here, I'm just gonna move over here so you get a bit of a better view. Um, so we have this big old kind of cupboard unit here, which houses the fridge um, and the pantry and everything. Now again, the fridge, I kind of want to change this. Um, it was the old previous owners that were here and it's got loads of dents in it. I don't know how well you can see, there's one there, one there. Um, and it's like, as much as I've cleaned it, it really is just filthy. Um, so I would like to change this. So I think we are gonna try and find another fridge and ideally, if I can, I'd love to have a black one. But I've been looking around and it seems as though I can't get one to fit this size because it's quite a strange kind of size. Like it's not very tall, but it's quite wide. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna have a look into it. I don't know, can you paint a fridge? I'm sure there must be a way, but let me know down below if you have any ideas. But yeah, I'm gonna change that, I think, because just, again, it's like the dishwasher. It just looks, just doesn't look very nice um, for such like a nice kitchen. So yeah, <coughs> sorry, my voice then. <coughs> so yeah, it's like the dishwasher. It just doesn't look like, 
how I'd like it to. Um, I suppose we could get an integrated one again. That could maybe be an option. So yeah, we'll have a little look and have a play around and see what we think. But yeah, this is just storage. So this is our pantry, which is a bit of a mess right now. Needs kind of sorting out. Um, and then up here, we just have more storage. Um, yeah, it's quite a high ceiling, as you can see, it kind of slopes. Um, and we have skylights there just to obviously let the light in. Um, but yeah, and then when we come around to here. So if you guys, I don't know if I have included it in this video, but basically I'll try and find a picture, but there used to be a unit here, um, very much like the rest of the units, but it used to sit here and it came out to about there, but it was a cupboard and everything like that. So it was a little bit, personally, I didn't feel like it had much use. It was kind of just blocking off that section and yeah, I just wasn't really mad on it. So in the end, what we did is we got rid of the unit, we pulled it out um, and we kept the quartz that was on the, not the quartz, sorry, we kept the granite that was on top of the unit, which is obviously this bit. And we decided to make a kitchen island. So our joiner did this for us. He's so talented. I, this again, isn't quite finished. I think I'm gonna match, you see that tongue and groove paneling there? I think I'm gonna match it and put it here and here. Um, and obviously this needs polishing because this came off the back of the wall. So as you can see, it's like not shiny, but I'm gonna get this polished up. Um, but yeah, so we've got the granite on top of there, made an island, which I'm so happy about because I just felt like this kitchen was just really, really missing an island. Um, obviously we have our dining table over here, which I will get to, um, but I just felt like it was missing an island. And so we made one and we actually had this standing in the middle of the room. So this is freestanding. It's not joint to anything. So say we have a party or something like that. We can push it out the way. We can push it back over there. We can pull it over here. We can do whatever we want. So we did have it in the middle of the room, um, which was fine, but I did feel like it was kind of blocking this kitchen off a bit. So we've just moved it over here and it's just brilliant. Like I sit up here and have my breakfast and everything, obviously just kind of like looking out the window and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, I love it. I'm so, so happy we decided to do this. Um, so yeah, over here I just have some tulips and then I have a fruit bowl, which is from Zara and some fruit. Those apples probably are kind of past their dates, but it's fine. <laughs> and then we just have this little contraption that our joiner built for us. So when we removed that unit, it literally totally destroyed the wall because it was like stuck onto the wall. So it peeled off loads of the plaster and everything and it ruined this. Um, so we had to think of a solution. So this is what we came up with. So also just over here is all the dog stuff. So it's where his crate is and everything like that. So our joiner had an idea because I wanted to have like a baby gate or something here for the dog. Um, had an idea of building this. So as you can see, I just slid that door out of this. And then that is where the dog goes when he's muddy or when we don't want him to run around the rest of the house or anything like that. It leaves a white, by the way, that's what that line is. It's just dust. Um, but yeah, and as you can see, it fits perfectly over the skirting board, which I just think is really satisfying. Um, and yeah, it's just brilliant. It's so practical, but it also like solved the situation of this looking an absolute mess. So as I'm talking, I'm gonna sort of put pictures in here and there so you can kind of get a gist of what it used to look like before. Um, and then obviously we just had this little ledge because it needed something on it. This needs painting again. When the walls were being sanded, this obviously got like quite dirty and stuff. So it needs painting again, which is fine. I'm gonna do that soon. Um, but yeah, so that is that. Really, really chuffed with that. And obviously it is really practical, but also solved the um, issue of all of this being a bit ruined. And then these stools, I picked up from a vintage antique marketplace. Um, really, really cool kind of brass legs. And then this leather chair, which is so comfy. For me, I really like stools to be comfortable because I feel like a lot of stools aren't and you don't really want to sit there for that long. So they're kind of like car seats. Um, but yeah, they just go really nice. I love the leather with the dark. Just think it looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that is the little kitchen island that we made. So you guys would have just seen our dining area when I quickly panned around, but now I'm gonna do sort of a more in-depth kind of talk about it. As you can see, it's not finished. We need to put two wall lights on the wall. I'm gonna add coving all the way around just to stop the room looking too boxy. Um, and I also think I'm gonna do mirrored panels on that back wall there, um, but we'll see how we go. We'll, I'm gonna get a quote for them and see how much they are. But anyway, coming round over to here. So this obviously is the same as the kitchen units. And at one point I actually wanted to get rid of this because I really didn't like it. I just felt like, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with it. 
But then I decided it was going to be far too much work to try and get rid of it um, and would be left with like a weird alcove. So we've kept it and now we've painted it. I am so happy with it. I think it really, really nicely like ties the kitchen in, goes so nice with the colours we've chosen for the walls and stuff. So yeah, really happy that I did that in the end and decided to keep it. So obviously it's the exact same. I love this detailing. Um, I just think it's so grand and cool. It's just, yeah, I love it. Um, obviously it's the exact same. It also has a little light in here. There we go. Um, but yeah, we are using this to store all of our alcohol, which we literally never drink. So I don't know why we have so much alcohol. Um, but this is obviously all left over from like Christmas and parties and stuff like that. So just got a load of champagne and all of that up there. And then down here, I know the light's a little funny, sorry. I have all of my like gin glasses and cocktail glasses and stuff like that. Um, and then I have two brass candlesticks, which I got from an antique shop. Um, this big glass candlestick, which I can't remember where it's from. Um, but if you just type in like chunky glass candlestick you'll kind of get something similar. Um, obviously a big candle, and this is a very similar color to the wall. Well, it looks it when it's um, not next to it, but anyway. Um, I've got a Joe Malone candle down there. I've got a speaker hidden away there. Obviously we're changing these sockets behind, um, but yeah, I've got a speaker hidden there. Over here, I just have a diffuser. And then I have this, which is from an antique shop again, with all of our corks in it. I love this, I think it's such a nice idea, just to sort of remind you of all the like fun times you've had, all the celebrations. Um, a lot of them I've written like stuff on, if I can find. Here we go, so this one says new contract, 2017, so that was when Sam signed a new contract. Um, and then I've got ones where like we moved into our first house and everything like that. So yeah, really, really nice memories in there. And then I have a little box here that says champagne and it's just got napkins in it for when we, you know, are being fancy. So that's that. Um, in here, we just have a load of board games and like spare plates and stuff. It's a mess, so you're not going in there. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then, so the colour on the walls is Lamp Room Grey by Farron Ball, and I spent ages trying to decide what colour to put here. I'll pop a picture on screen of some swatches. So I swatched Denim's by Farron Ball. Um, I was gonna originally paint it all in this colour, but then it was just gonna be far too much. Um, so in the end, we went for Lamp Room Grey, just because I had a tub of paint left over. And it actually looks brilliant. I'm so happy with it. So this is... Um, the door going into the utility room and I decided to paint this in the same colour because it's quite a small door so I just thought it would look a bit weird like if it was a white or something I just wanted it to blend in really nicely and it does it blends in so well you like barely even notice it really um, and then I popped these amazing brass handles on I am obsessed with these honestly like absolutely obsessed they're just beautiful they're from a company called grace and glory and yeah i love them i just think i'm one of those people that really likes the small details and i just think doing something like that can make such a difference so yeah really really happy with them then obviously on this wall we need to pop some wall lights up so i need my electrician to come around and do so so that's what that is waiting for there and then I just have some art and stuff that I don't know where it's going to go. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that. This is our table. I'm going to come from the other end just so the lighting is a little bit better. So two seconds. So this is the table. Um, so happy with this. It is a round table. It's from Maison de Monde. Um, obviously, it's just like a round wooden table. I found it quite hard to find one that was going to fit the size and the space and everything. Um, this can get eight people round it. Um, we just have it with four, like just sort of, sort of every day. But when I've had people round, I have got eight people round. Did I have eight or did I have even more? No, it was eight. Um, and then the chairs are from Cox and Cox. They're like a black wood chair with obviously the spindles and kind of like a chunky leg, which I love. I think they go really, really nicely and I really like the black and the wood together. Um, and then the bits I have on the table, this is from Zara Home, that's from H&M Home, and that's from a garden centre. And then I just have some coasters, which are from John Lewis. Um, but yeah, I think a round table is brilliant for entertaining because it's so sociable. So I was really happy to sort of get a round table in here because it's a square room. I kind of felt like that was the most Kind of the best thing to do. And then we have this radiator. So it's a column radiator, it's from Screwfix. Um, it's a black color, so it looks really, really nice, obviously against the wall and also with the black chairs and everything like that. So yeah, I really, really like that. I also added a different um, valve, so I need to paint this as well. Um, but these valves are from Cast Rads. So I just think, again, it's like the door handles. It's just a little feature um, that really kind of makes it look a little bit 
kind of nicer than just having kind of plastic valves. Um, so yeah, that's just me. I like doing stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, love them. Really, really nice. Um, we need to put some artwork, which is this, which is going up there, um, and everything like that. So then if we walk back into the kitchen, so as you can see, I have a little kind of tree here um, in a pot, which is from Sainsbury's. And then our doors here. So we have double doors which go into our lounge. Um, again, I've done the same with the handle there. Um, I'm not gonna show you too much because Sam is in there and you can see him through the glass, but that's the doors. Um, and then if we pan round to here, this is one of my favorite areas. So I'm gonna pop a picture on screen of what this used to look like. <laughs> um, and now I've turned into this really nice kind of seating area. So we have this, um, Kind of tealy blue, sorry, it's a little bit, probably needs a wipe, <laughs> um, but a tealy blue armchair, which is from made.com, and I actually sprayed the legs gold, um, just because I'm extra like that, and yeah, I just felt like they looked nicer, because they were originally like quite a dark wood. Um, so yeah, if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll see this chair used to be in my office, in our old house, but now it's here. Um, so comfy. Rafi absolutely loves it. I'll pop a picture on screen of him in it because he's, oh, it's like his favourite chair ever. So he's always sat on this. Um, and then this cushion is from a local store. Um, so yeah, I probably won't be able to link that one, but I'm sure you can find similar. The lamp is from Cox and Cox. Really, really nice. Gives us a really nice light because we have one of those sort of like filament bulbs in there. Um, and then this is the same radiator as the one in the uh, dining room. And again, we have the brass valves on. Um, this print here, well, it's not a print, it's an actual original uh, Tracy Emin piece of art, um, which Sam got me for my birthday. Um, she did it for the 2012 Paralympic Games. Um, it's called Birds, and I just absolutely love it. It's just, yeah, very really special. Um, but the colours in it go so nicely, obviously, with the kitchen, because it's like a dark blue. And then we have this fern, which is from Ikea, and the pot is from Ikea as well. And then, um, yeah, we just have these double doors that kind of go to outside, which need uh, painting again. And then, just panning around to here, we have this hydrangea pot. So the pot is from John Lewis, and the hydrangeas are from various places, um, Home Sense, and then a few others just from like local stores and stuff. So yeah, this is the kitchen. I'm just gonna pan back. So you can see, I'll pop a picture on screen if I can find one of what it looked like before. And then obviously you can see here. So yeah, I'm so happy with it. Obviously we do still have things to do, but overall, just found some rubbish on the side. <laughs> we do have things to do, but yeah, overall we are getting there. We're almost there. And yeah, so really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was kind of useful for you in terms of providing inspiration and um, yeah, just like hopefully you enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please do follow me on my home account on Instagram, which is at Ruby Holly home. Um, and my main account is at Ruby Holly underscore. So yeah, just give me that one last pan round so you can see everything in detail. And that is the end of this video. So thanks so much guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.